billion United States dollars in mining by American billionaire will have catastrophic social economic consequences, including poisoning freshwater borders, disturbing aqua life, endangering surface infrastructure, and massive displacement of peasants from their ancestral land on the copper belt. An environmental expert has cautioned. The California based exploration firm Cobalt Metals has invested 150 million United States dollars in a copper mine and also to develop another mine with several mineral deposits in Zambia, the company announced in 2022. Recently, Zambia's president, Harainde Hichilema, and his Congolese counterpart, Felix Shisekedi, announced a battery manufacturing joint venture to be backed by American investors. But this has not excited environmentalists, mining experts, local people who say that the U.S.-based companies are not stable and have contributed to current problems in Zambia's mining sector. Environmentalist and Green Party President Peter Sinkamba says the United Party for National Development Government must not entertain American mining firms because the U.S. best investments have a dark history of sudden and undiplomatic departures, pulling out capital when it's convenient to them and leaving the mining areas with social, economic and environmental liabilities such as curbings in joblessness. Us, we are not excited to see Americans coming, come and invest because we know of their mode of operations. They can easily take off and they don't care. You go how the, the late president Manawasa was told off in Devon by Anglo. You know, uh, he was told off. We, 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 we don't care. We are here to make profit. If there's no money, there's no profit. We can't stay there. We are not there to look after the Zambians. That's your job as politicians. We told him off in an international conference in Devon. You understand? So uh, we, we tried to, to sue uh, them in, in, in various uh, uh, jurisdictions abroad. But you see, we uh, for us, really, we're not excited because we know the kind of people that uh, we're dealing with. Uh, today, they are here because there is uh, uh, a promise of big money to come from uh, from uh, uh, the sale of electric car batteries. To big money, yeah, you know. But should there be any anything which goes wrong? Uh, should there be just some uh, small uh, hiccup? Uh, we, are, we are gone. Uh, they will just take off and leave you. We don't care. So they're not here to, to promote Zambia. They're not here to promote anyone. They're just here specifically to make a profit themselves. Mingomba Copper Mine, located in Chililawombe District, on the border to the Democratic Republic of Congo, was acquired by U.S. billionaire Bill Gates through Cobalt Metals. The company is conducting exploration activities, but the secrecy surrounding the project made it difficult to gather any details about the investment during the visit to the area. Cobalt Metals is currently undertaking exploration activities. The company uses artificial intelligence, machine learning to identify battery metal deposits, but many residents are worried about the ongoing activities because this will add to the existing challenges of underground blasting where many houses are cracking and others are collapsing while causing physical injuries to the people. Ero so to refuaya uku to afuirisha ko so abana umbi akwete 6 years umbi akwete 4 years ero to aise aba ponena ero fya chef ma bricks fya isa aba ponena ero to aishire fumyapo so abana bali abali batora kirin kirusa ro kwali so kwa tsabana tapali wache neke na ngumo so nempange to aikala mo nimpanga balando kwa tinimpanga ya rubambe so tatu akwa to kwa kubutukira tatu kwa tono kwa kulimina so to refuaya obo afuirisha ko ati batu afuirisha ko beri ga santa to lerala tatu lerala ro tupata Punching a two-hour bone and I'm by the punching sharp on a mukabat. 
Investments in covered metals include Breakthrough Energy Ventures, a climate and technology fund founded by Microsoft founder Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, and Sir Richard Branson from the Virgin Conglomerate. Building material. Na building material in Tuba Tula Ile, Tayatala in Monecayo. So, what's your Kalamba? Filet Dirica. Filet Amponaftampo could Diricom go to the Dirica Dirica. And Kafia Dirica. Umusevo, what did Dirica to go to Kwakula Pitila Pangi, the Kumpanga Koba to Pangi. Now, what Ampano Chitaki, I want to Bacongole. Ero Kabiri, Kafia Dirica. Limbe fika diri kila pama ya ndaya abantu. Bushairi ya miyo ya abantu. Tukaiwesha na kabiri. Ni wana wani wakakata losi. Buteko budi no kuata losi. Echo mkwa watu le papa. Takubuteko. Butu wafuiri sheko. Have got a negative impact on the environment when they are doing their activities. To begin with, mining is destructive. Whether we like it or yes. One, when the mine is beginning, trees are cut down, rivers are diverted, animals are displaced, and when we were going around Chililabombo, all these things that we see are names that have been uh, from the animals that were displaced, all the roads that are in Kamenza Township. Now, when the mining is uh, taking place, it is not a simple activity. Uh, there is rock that you have to encounter. Then rock is not easy to break. People were qualified as rock breakers. So for them to break such a huge amount of rock, they would use uh, explosives. And when explosives are ignited, there, there is a repercussion. There are trauma, tremors, and the tremors have got a path. They do not mind what is there. These are the houses that are cracking in our townships. And nobody is taking responsibility because the houses have been sold. There is no backfill. And it's not only the cracking because of the explosives, but there is also destruction in nature. Things have relocated. Mr. Peter Sinkamba said capital from the U.S. best firms must be treated with a lot of caution because of instability and manipulation. He referred to Zambia's experience with the Anglo-American Corporation in the early 2000s when the multinational company relocated its investment from Zambia abruptly without safeguards to the local economy. We have dealt with the American institutions uh, on the environmental issues here. Uh, to some extent, uh, we were able to achieve quite a lot through those institutions and to some extent uh, we were able again to uh, find ourselves entangled in a total mess. I'll give you examples. When we were under stress through the structural adjustment programs of 20, uh, of, of 19, the late 80s into 90s, uh, 2000, um, there was that HIPI completion program under the HIPI schedule, and uh, one of the, the requirements by Western institutions, what we call the Washington the Consensus Institutions, the World Bank, IMF, was that we needed to privatize mines to be in private sector arrangements, and they put us under stress as government to sell the mines, uh, which we sold for a song. The venture in which cobalt metals is investing is Mingomba mine that has been carrying devastating underground blasting activities. As a consequence, many buildings, such as churches and housing, have developed cracks and others are already collapsing. According to the local people, the increased investment from cobalt metals means more blasting and more buildings will be affected on the surface. After Twashita, I don't know so, to adequate the court, Pia Filanishi to Chiri to Rebomba, Naben and Inshuadech Tako to my contract to my mind. So, I thought I should stand up in it. 
on se fait un endroit qui tend à pin, qui tend à pin, tu as ça va te faire. Tu as bien capté ma chimie, bien frais, fumé comme ma ini. Fibé bâtiment, j'en bolos, tu dis à toi, je suis capté, tu as bien capté na laimu na na ma boy fibé aye ngisani, ma boy fikulu fiare fumé comme na fait na comme ma ini. So tu as fibé capté fiancé, tu as ta au nomba, tu as passé, tu ne non mais t'es engagé à te fumer chez pour bruno bruno fibé, bah ça y est, ça chipia chipia. So tu as ta au nomba ya apwa. Within a short time, ya isa tampa kwa tukulare puka fi panono, panono, panono. Up to ya isa fi kana padi ini nani kani stage fi kilepo. So, right now, teti nkwa te impiesha kwebati kutina wamisha na ngushani awe. So, if you know mba kwa ti, it's like nangunga kumaini fiachi tabadisha konga tu pata nga tunshi. Kutu wa mfuwa ni nga ndaya sheki nga fidea wa isa batidimbi. Nuhu kupona ya la chitashani ya la apona. Pika la fidea fia kwe bati. Takuwe toko uingaya. So nangu fidea dimbi wa mfuwa kwa tidimbi ni ni kaa esu kwe kiaka nuhu nuka chita kwa timbu mbumbu. Watu lumuka dimbi wa isa ya wano kwe bati. Hmm. Yi nga nda dimbi ya la mpone na fidea. So kwika la fio wa mwenso mwenso nga na imwebe ni na mwono kwe bati. Inga ndea msangwe fite tuwika deo. Numu tima na uteka au. Kwika la fio mwenso mwenso. Ati ene time kutifia chitika. Father Justin Chikontwe is Kamenza Catholic Parish Priest in Chilela Bombwe. And he laments how the church building has been cracking because of underground blasting activities. Found when I came in is this state of affairs where um, the, the house, this is our house here, has cracks everywhere. And um, the church too. So we have all these cracks, and I'm um, uh, informed that they are a result of um, the mining activities. So when um, there's blasting underground, the tremors come, and then the, the, the earth moves. And what we have are the cracks like this. And uh, of course, this adds to the expense of um, maintaining the, the, the house or the houses in the neighborhood and uh, also the church because we rely on donor um, funds. So when people get the fatigue of donating, then uh, you know, I'm afraid we, we have to continue living in such kind of environment, which I must say is, is, is not uh, safe. Because um, I jokingly say, you know, in this room behind me, which happens to be one of the bedrooms, you do not need an alarm clock in the morning because the sun shines through the cracks. So the sun wakes you up actually. So it's not safe. According to Mr. Sinkamba, the United States of America has long presented itself as a model for stable and trusted investment both to its citizens and to the rest of the world. Mr. Sinkamba argues that the reality is that the U.S. is far from being a perfect source of investment for Zambia's mining sector, adding